part two. Take a close look at these pictures. That's my daughter. I ask you to start looking for her as soon as possible. My daughter is sick. I mean, she's insane. She could jump off a roof, or worse, push someone over. At first glance, she seems normal. But when you talk to her, you can tell that there is something wrong with her. She sees enemies everywhere. She refers to doctors as convicts. She thinks everybody is her enemy. She makes up stories about being held in a basement. <sighs> she doesn't even always recognize me as her father. She's too aggressive. <sighs> Whoever finds her will be generously rewarded. Dara is very dear to me. You have no idea how much she means to me. That's how I got kicked out of there. Oh yeah, I used to have fun. Wow. Who are you? Well, let's get acquainted. Hey. Stay away from me. Don't be afraid. It won't hurt. Tim. Hey, lady, get out of the way. What's Are you wrong crazy? With you? Are you blind? You have to learn if I knew she had good friends here, I wouldn't have hired you to look for her. 
I need you to turn over each and every stone. We have to sit down. Last year I ran away from the orphanage. And I lived in the country all summer long. Mosquitoes are like really big. We also had a talking cat. Really? Cat. So why did you run away? They took me to the hospital. They wanted to take my organs and use them for another kid. It was scary. <laughs> nice lie. I'm not lying. You'd better tell me, where can I get a room? What's the point of wasting money? We'll spend the night for free. What? Here? Oh no, not here. Somewhere else. I have friends everywhere. They let me go to the movies for free, to an internet club, and the lady always gives me free pies. You know your way, huh? Were you born here? Yes. I know the city quite well. I'll show you the stores where it's easier to steal food. We won't steal. And you? Where are you from? From Kaczynski. <laughs> from <Kaczynski>. where? Kaczynski. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> it's a town. I was born and raised there. And then I was found and taken by my father. A powerful businessman, by the way. Ooh, that sounds cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. And then he started treating me badly, and I ran away. It's just that... He's an odd father. Somehow fake. Maybe they want to sell your organs too? You think so? <laughs> Who needs my organs anyway? Listen... What's your name? Max. Dara. <laughs> no, I'm still home. The bitch ran away. All the arrangements are in place. Chiba, I told you it's gonna be fine. Just wait. Dara escaped and got rid of the chips this time? It was fucking Paulina who helped. That bitch. Now I have to look for her all over the city. Do you happen to know where Dar is? No. I don't, but... If I had planned to take Dara, I would have done it in a smarter way. I wouldn't have involved Polina in it. Caleb, stop with the stupid surveillance! I'm working! I'm working in our company! Meeting with important people. But there's always a tale behind me. I know all their plate numbers and stupid faces. You better... bug the car and put a hidden cameras. You should also implant a chip in my brain. That could work. Good. Not a bad idea. Caleb, if I wanted to deceive you, no surveillance equipment could help you. I hope you understand that. Try me. I'll roll you into asphalt, and that's not a metaphor, you know me. <laughs> Aaron, listen. Go through your channels and find out who Shiba is. Yes, Chiba. I don't know if it's a nickname or a surname. Yeah, that's fine. Bye.
dear friends. Thanks to everyone who came to see us every night of every weekend. But tonight is our farewell party, okay? Because our club is closing. Yeah! DJ Music, go! Okay, I have a lot more. What you wanted? You said you wanted yeah, to leave. Yeah, but it's not that simple. Look, I know that face. Ah. And there's a reward for her. Listen, she has that friend, Max. Maybe she's with him, and we can go find her. Mm -hmm. I know where he hangs out. I talk business. Come on, come on. Let's do it. No time to waste. So what are you afraid of? You're young, handsome. So am I. China's ours, Woohoo! What are you afraid of? How much longer are you gonna clean up after him? <laughs> At first, I didn't even like it. He got in there. He has his iron grip. But he changed. I became powerful. We are all pawns in this chess game. And I am becoming the same way. Not true, you're not. I've known you since you were a kid. You're a good guy. But I've helped them. Not knowing, not thinking. What will happen to the girl? It's not her fault, she's just another pawn on his board. Well, just like you, Alden. Buddy, will you come? No. Ni hao. They'd be picking my body parts out of the junkyard. Do you think he can? Him? Of course he can. I found a girl in his basement and let her out. I didn't know. I thought he'd gotten himself a sex slave and used her just for fun, but now I know she was not. It was something else. He yelled so much, I've never seen him like that. I don't understand why he is like that. He got so mad about the whole thing. What's so special about her? I have no idea. He told me to find her. Where can I find her? No. 
know? You don't know? I don't. Hey, I gave her my phone number. Maybe she'll call. I wish she would. Do you think I'm pretty, am I? Please, <laughs> make him forgive me. He has to forgive me. I know he loves me. Talk to him, please. I'll be right back. stuff in them, you know? something delicious to eat. Maxim, do you know where the bathroom yes. is? Go yeah, wash no. your hands. Come on, follow me. Thank you. All right, guys, time for bed. Dips on the side. Okay. <laughs> well, good night. Good night. Max, are you sleeping? Mm -hmm. What are you dreaming about? I'm dreaming about a laptop. <laughs> I dream of my house. Going to college. Getting an education and a job and a lot of money. Suitcase. More. And I'll buy you a laptop. You'll have to wait a long time. A hundred years. Let's steal it. I know where. What is it with you and stealing? <laughs> Who raised you? Now, I'm gonna take care of you. I'm gonna make a good boy out of you. <laughs> Tell me, the race My granny, since I was ten years old, she taught me that you can't steal. So let's sleep. Sleep. Come on. Can we steal food? No, we can't. No sleep. <laughs>
sleepy. So, what do we do now? We can stay here forever. We gotta get a room, Max. And we don't even have money for that. Don't worry, I have more in the stash. Good morning. Good morning. How did you sleep? Good. None of busy. We have to go. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, what about breakfast? <laughs> Let's go to the countryside. Which countryside? To Aunt Claudia, exactly. You have an aunt? Nope, that's my friend's aunt. We stayed with her last summer. Oh. She's a nice lady. We can stay there for a short time, and those guys will be gone for good. All right, let's go. Listen, Max, wait. Do you have a biology textbook for college admissions? Biology? Yeah, sure. Here you go. Uh-huh, thank you. Only this one? Yeah, but it's the best one. Is it? Yeah. All right. Do you have vanilla? Okay. So you want chocolate? Yes. Just one? Two. Here, that'll be 70, please. Thank you. Okay, then. <laughs> Wait, where are you going? Stolen ice cream. Come from the other side. Max! Max, stop! Stop now! Gotcha! Uh, leave me alone! Let him go! I can pay you. Please let me pay for the ice cream. How much do I owe you? Please tell Come me. Now. I'm seeing you somewhere else. Aren't you uh, Richmond's daughter? There's a big reward for you, and we're gonna get it. Run! Hey, hey, kid, Wait. come here. Stop. Max. Stop, stop. Get him. He lived here. In the winter? I didn't ask about the orphanage. He just came and went. Do you remember his last name? Fadu? Fadu. Right. Fadu. Max Fadu. Max Simba You have Fad. to go to the police. They will tell you where they took him. It's simple. I can't go to the police. But why? Excuse me. Can I borrow your phone? I need to make an urgent phone call. 
I'll be quick, I promise. Paulina? No. Dara, it's me. Don't hang up, please. Thank you. You're welcome. I need your help. Can you trace a phone number for me? Write it down. Babe, listen. Maybe if we look in the bush, we'll find there something. There was nothing. Nothing at all. No one leaves anything anymore. Oh, look at that. Small treasure for us. <laughs> Wait, look. Look, it's that girl, remember? She got away from us. Oh, yes. The rich guy's daughter. Let's get her. Oh, oh, Silence! Oh, oh, Scream! Oh. You'll come with us. We can't give it to the cops. Take the money ourselves. <laughs> I need to talk to you. Okay. Get in the car. Are these your new friends? Sure. That's what I figured. What did they want from you? What do you want from me? Dara. God registered all his real estate in your name. To save it from being confiscated. You know, in case he goes to jail? You're rich now. But... As you know... He's not your father. <laughs> You'll be 18 real soon. You can take full advantage of this and be the owner of all his property. I don't need any of that. My grandmother always taught me that the main thing in life is to be a good person. But you know, you'll never understand that, so go on and tell your boss to leave me alone. Maybe you don't need it. But he does. And he won't leave you alone. I want you to get out of the situation without you being hurt. Why should I trust you? Do you have a choice? Okay. I have a very close friend. The police took him away. Really? <laughs> He's ten years old. This is serious. It is. His name is Max Fadu. <laughs> Max Fadu? Maxime Fadu. And he stole ice cream. He stole the ice cream. He's 10 years Terrence, old. Hi. You'll be surprised, but I'll need your help again.
Your friend is in the hospital, room 14. What happened? I don't know. Okay, thank you. Uh, wait. Here's a cell phone. Call me if something happens. Okay, thanks. I'll be waiting. Remember, if you need anything, call me. I'll be here for you. All right, I will. come back tomorrow. But I have to leave my office to come I get here. it. But that's how it is. Your child is not the only one in there. But he's waiting for me. Come on, you have to understand. <sighs> Can I leave some food I bought for him here? Okay, give it to me. Everybody. I see. Where's your stuff? At Slava's in the resident lounge. Slava? Who's Slava? Someone's coming. <sighs> Keith, are you awake? Does your stomach hurt? Put on your slippers and go get your tests. Come on, let's go. <clears throat> are you okay down there? What? <laughs> are you comfortable? Actually, not really. I just dropped my earring. I was just sitting here and dropped it. Max, it fell and... who is this? Uh, uh, this is my cousin. Say hello. I'm his cousin, Dara. Slava. And then it turned out that I had the wrong patient. But the old lady was all right. She was tough. Did she really survive? Uh, of course. She'll outlive us all. Slava, can I take Max for a while? I'll bring him back tomorrow. Really, I swear. It's forbidden by the hospital Please. rules. Please. Dara, why didn't you visit Max before? Only the guardianship came to see him. I just recently moved back. Hello? Stop the bleeding. I'll be right there. Excuse me, please. There's a patient. Of in course. There.
Get dressed. We're leaving, okay? Quickly, chop chop. Here. Oh. Here, take it. Let's go. Lando. Where's Max? He left with the nurse. Which nurse? I don't know. She's new young one. I see. Call the passageway. Maybe they'll delay them. Hello? Uh... She ran away. With a boy. Who's this? Private detective. I have a favor to ask you. Don't tell anyone about Dara. Not even the police. Uh, Don't trust I... anyone. Uh, Otherwise, you'll be that... in a lot of trouble. If you see her, give her this phone. And make sure she calls me as soon as possible. Is that a deal? Huh? And the boy Max, is he okay? Mm -hmm. It's a deal. Good. so kind, even when I ripped off all of the flower heads in the flower bed. She didn't chase me away. She only smacked me with nettles. <laughs> Dara, don't Why worry. Why did you cut it's the flowers here. off? I'm huh? I was a fool. <laughs> oh, you little monster. Come with me. Thank you. <laughs> Claudie, 
Claudie! Aunt Claudie! Maybe she's gone. The door's open. Aunt Claudie! Where are you? Who are you? How did you get here? It's me, Max? Aunt Claudie. Max, do you remember me? When your grandson and I came in here, please remember me. And remember, I was in the flower bed and I picked all of the flowers. Didn't you recognize me? I remember. See, you're of course I remember. I knew it. Oh, my little orphan. <laughs> <laughs> this is Hello. Hi. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Are you hungry? Oh, uh, yeah. Thank yeah. you. Slava. Slava, dinner's ready. Mom? Who is she? Tea's ready. I'm coming, sweeties. I got the kettle. After the war, my mom used to bake us linden breads. What is that? What mm. does it mean? It means from the leaves of a linden tree. Mm. <laughs> if you cut it open, mm. <laughs> it's green inside. Mm. Uh, mm. During the war, there was hunger, mm. especially oh. during winter. Potato peelings were a joy, the best. <laughs> now you can get everything in the store, but people are not happy though. Life is good now. Not so much back in my time. Good morning. Is that your grandson? My grandson and granddaughter. Come sit with us. Mm, pancakes are so good. Mm. Can you explain Mom. to me what's going on? Here it says she's wanted because she's mentally ill. Why? Why Mom, do you want to help on. her? You don't know what she's capable of and you brought her into our house. Why did you do it? Because I'm sure that it's not true and I think I have to figure it out. But why is it you the one who's helping her and finding out the truth? You're my only son. I don't want anything to happen to you. What do you think Dad would do in my place? Why are you doing this to me? Well, at least she's pretty. And you've got your father's eyes. <laughs> <laughs>
Wait a second. Good evening. How can I help you? Sorry for the late visit. Uh, can we see Dara? Who's Dara? What are you talking about? for the children. They left. They came for a while and left. So, goodbye. Good night. Oh, where are you going? What are you doing? Who are you? Behave yourself. I'll call the police. How dare you? I'm going to call the neighbors. You can't be here. <gasps> So you're not a detective. Yes, Heron, hi. Hi. Remember you asked me to find out about a certain Chiba? Yes. Well, anyway, the Chiba is Elijah Wheeler. He was trying to tip and put on an owl rusher wanted list for human trafficking. Still not found. Probably lives abroad with big documents. Well, in short, it's impossible to find him. So, sorry. That's all there is. I see. Thank you. Bye. Bye. To take them Do you away. know who is in there? We don't want any crooks we around don't want here any anymore. More crimes around here. Are they still in here? Claudie, are you here? What's going on? What's going on? Everyone's worried. Are you okay, Claudie? Get him out of here, right now. Uh, please, uh, I need to They're see some thugs. IDs. You have to leave her yeah, alone. Yeah, take him out. <clears throat> take them away now. Yeah. Yes, yes, take them. Take them. Take them. Come on, arrest take them. them now. Come on, officer. Take them out of here. Get out of here. Get in. Shh. Oh, there you are. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank they God. Didn't find you. What happened? Are they oh, gone? No. Oh, come on, it's over. Thank God. Good. Get out of there. I don't think she's still there. Goodbye. Where are you? Dear Dara.
You said that there was a talking cat. I didn't hear a word he said. He doesn't like to talk with strangers. Unlike you. <laughs> oh, thank you, Dara. Thank you. Wash your hands and come to the table. I made delicious food for you. Breakfast is ready. Finally over, I can't believe it. Hey, we should be celebrating such an occasion, don't you think? I can't, I'm going to the office. Call Polina, you need to make up with her. I can't see her, that stupid bitch. Don't mention her. <sighs> I wish you could find someone who is not for money, but for love. I want the real thing. So she would be faithful, sacrifice everything for me. Come to the edge of the world. Just like you did. These bitches only want money. <sighs> what have you got to give but money? You're a fat old crocodile. Have you ever had the chance to think about that? I knew I wasn't your type. I <sighs> damn, I shouldn't have rushed the real estate registration. I panicked. Listen, do you know where Dyer is? I think you do. <laughs> no! Come you here! Won't me. <laughs> you won't touch me! <laughs> I will! Come here! With me. Come here. <laughs> Take him out of the hospital. We need to get back. The boy needs to be hospitalized immediately. Thank you. We will take him now. lung hypoplasia of a complicated form. His condition is stable, but he is not yet conscious. <sighs> it's all my fault. It's not your fault. He'd escape anyway. Maxim knows what's going on. Aww. That's why he escapes all the time and he imagines things like organ transplants and uh, but he... Yeah, he told me. Will he die? Can I walk you home? No, I want to stay here with Max. You won't help him anyway. <gasps> so, you have nowhere to go, right? All right. Mm. Let's go. Where to? 
to my house. You know I'm wanted, right? And that you also have mental issues. That's not true. Come on, we need to go. Dara, come in. Mom must be asleep by now. Come on, leave your stuff there. I'm telling you, Godin adopted me to use me for his plans. And then he locked me in the basement. No way. And he gave me something that made me dizzy. Bastard. There was a man in the hospital. He said he was a private detective. A guy with a bun. Artemis! Can he be trusted? Mm, I don't know. But he works for Godin. Uh, uh, hi mom. Uh, I'd like you to meet uh, Dara. And this is my mom. Hello, I'm Dara. Hello. Uh, good morning. Good morning. How do you sleep? Amazing. Scrambled egg? Sure. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Here. And salad. Thank you. I talked to Mom. She doesn't mind. Mm -hmm. You can stay here for as long as you want. <laughs> um, you probably shouldn't have told your mom. Thank you. All right. Um, uh, eat. I have to go to the I'll hospital. go with you. I want to see Max. Dara, Max is in the ICU. I get it. But I'd like to be there when he wakes up. Just please don't go anywhere. Well? The boy's in the hospital. He has a serious illness. So what? Tell me. The house they came to is connected to the boy. And the boy? In the hospital. Why isn't our man there yet? I'm on it. You know what? There was a chocolate candy in the 90s. <laughs> with little shiny wrappers. <laughs> Slava always asked me to buy them for him. <laughs> he was such a sweet one. I love candy, too. <laughs> when he turned 11, he ate so much chocolate cake, he got an allergic reaction. <laughs> you know, he was such a... brat. Dara, what's wrong with you? What day is today? 23rd, why? It's my birthday. Oh, really? How old are you, tell me? <laughs> 18. We have to celebrate! Yeah. I'm in the hospital. No. Haven't seen Dara yet. Hey, Mom, get Dara. Yes, it's urgent. Can I see you, please? Wait, May wait. I? <laughs> and now, <laughs> make a wish. Blow up the candles. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> Thank you so much. I've never had a birthday like this before. It's amazing. Thank you. <laughs> mm. 
Dara, why are you sitting here? What's gonna happen to Max? Tell me the truth. There is the option to do a surgery abroad, but it's very expensive. It's 40,000 euros. <sighs> yeah. You know, the funny thing is that I have the money. My father is a very rich man. Oh, I'm the owner of his real estate. Hello, darling. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> uh, did Slava leave already? Yeah. I'm going to the store to get mm -hmm. some food, but I'll be back to make a pizza, so <laughs> won't take long. <laughs> okay. Don't go anywhere. Great. Dare's been on Cyrus for 15 minutes. She's waiting for someone. Maybe me? Shall I bring her? Wait. She could have a tantrum. Make a scandal. We don't need that now. She can't. Why did she even come? Hmm. I think I can guess why. Go downstairs and keep an eye okay. on her. Alden. Will you see me, please? Dara. Dara? Yeah. Hi, Mom. She escaped? I told her... What stuff? Yeah. Okay, I got it. Um, Mom, please don't worry. You have to stay home. You have to remain calm. Okay, I got it. Yeah. Will you take over for an hour? Sure. Thanks. Dara is downstairs in the lounge. I don't need a fuss. So your job is to convince her to get out of the cafe and get in my car voluntarily. Is that clear for you? Is she alone? Maybe not, but how should I know? That's why I'm sending you. I don't think she'll agree to get in that car with your thugs. Let me... Convince her to come with me. 
I'll take her to the notary. I'll explain and she'll sign the documents. Then you will let her go. I won't let her go. She's my daughter. God only knows how she'll use her position. There are a lot of scams to pull. We really need her back before someone else screws us over, okay? Is that clear? No jokes. Wait. One more thing. You'll be wired. Is that okay? Yes. Father is looking for you. He's very worried. You have to talk to him. There is a car waiting for you. I just can't go. My friend is dying in the hospital. I need money. Lots of money. You promised to help me. Please. If you don't help me, I'll tell everything to the police. What are you doing? <sighs> Go down and put everyone on alert. If I say stop them, grab them. I don't care if the world is looking. Get them in the car wherever you can. Do you understand? Got it. I don't care how many witnesses there are. Get them. Nothing. The mayor just proved that God is her father. Apparently a father can't steal his own daughter. And... and you? What did you do? I tried to explain that he's not her actual father and they still wouldn't listen to me. That they have to go to her house and check it out. And this guy was mocking me. He said, boy, if a respectable man doesn't want you to date his daughter, it's no reason to come to the police. Sweetie. I'm going to call Artemis. He'll know what to do. I'm sure of it. I'm sure he is involved in this somehow. Slava. 
Now we'll go to see a friend of mine at the police. And in your statement, you will say God and try to rape you. Make up the details, how he touched you, addressed you. I'll confirm everything. Wait, but that didn't happen. What difference does it make? It's for your protection. I won't say that. I won't lie. Stop the car. I said stop the car. Stop the car, don't you get it? <laughs> Listen to me. I'll make a deal with him. I give him back his mansions, and in return he pays for Max's treatment. And that's my offer. What makes you think he'll bargain with you? Listen to me. It's better to do as I say. Everything will be fine. Stay out of this. Keep quiet. I have a deal for you. I'll give you back all your properties, papers, money. Just let us go. Mm. So now she knows about my real estate. And who told her about it? Stop! Don't! Please! If you don't stop, I'll tell the police you drugged me, that you're a pervert. Idiot. Stop! Mm. Turns out you're sneaky, aren't you? Listen to me. Now you're signing the papers and coming with me. I won't go anywhere with you. Really? I'll do as you say. That's what I thought. Come on, sweetie. Go get ready. Come on. Where is Dara? In her room. If you don't let her go, uh, all the information on the Alexandra case will be on Matthew's desk. Mm. <laughs> You're going down with me, 
dumbass. You say you don't trust anyone. That everyone just wants their share. I did. And you're living proof. Dara can be trusted. She is the one who will be loyal to the end. Get it? Let her go. Don't ruin her life, you psycho. Alden, I don't get it. Is that really you? Hmm? You're standing up for... for an orphan that I took in, put at my table. Hmm? When you had your wife's tragedy, who helped you out? Hmm? Healed those wounds. You know what? I always get calls. Calls. Forget about this girl. Clean yourself up and go to the office. Go to the office and be useful to me. Come on. Mm hmm. I need you to go to work. Just be careful. One more mistake and I'll kill you. Understand what I said? Where is Alden? He's all right. For now. Here, I signed everything. Will you let him go now? My dear, you have the wrong idea about me. By the way, this boy, what's his name? Max. Max. How much for his treatment? 4,000 euros. 40,000. Well, I'll pay if you behave. Is that understood? Great. Where are we going? You'll see. You'll love it. Vera, Dara and I are going away for a while, so you have a short-term vacation. I'll call you. Yes. Where is he taking her? To the airport? Right now? I see.
I have an urgent case. It concerns the financial fraud between Godden and his firm, Alexandria, happened years ago. I have all the evidence. I was involved in it myself, and I'm ready to confess. Right now, Godden is on his way to the airport, fleeing with a girl who is allegedly his daughter. He's a dangerous man. You have to stop him. Okay, here you have. Write your confession. And believe me, this time, God is not getting away with it. Flight in an hour. Huh. You don't know who you're dealing with. Good afternoon. Lenora is in her office. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. You will have to come with us. There's someone here to see you. They're waiting in the residence room. Hello. Hello. I'm Wade, a friend of Alden Artemis. He asked me to give you money for his treatment. Here, take it. Why couldn't he come himself? He declared himself guilty. He's facing jail time. He's going to be in for a while. Excuse me. Will it be enough for Max's treatment? enough. It pays for everything and more. Is it too much? I need to give you something. all this time? Yes. Uh, why didn't you give it back right away? He's the criminal that'll go to jail. Do you think when God and bought you from the orphanage, Artemis didn't know? Sorry. Mom? Yeah? Look, what? should I wear a tie? Oh, no, no, no tie. It's too much. Hey, honey. Don't fuss or you'll be late. 
You're already late. Uh, um, let me give you money. It's okay. Thanks, Mom. Uh, listen, you can get there by subway. It's faster that way. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. Oh, that looks so good on you. It's beautiful. <sighs> Goodbye. Good luck. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> take care. I'll see you. <laughs> Thank you so much.